I just remember Santorin's Evelyn just shit on us and we're like, what the fuck? I mean, I shouldn't be swearing, let me do that again. <laughs> <laughs> My first memory of Lucas was when he was playing Evelyn against us on TSM 2014 and then his just remembering his Evelyn being really good and be like who's this guy like I guess he's an import from Denmark or something like that. Pr pretty clear which my first memory of TSM is I was the pentakill on Kaelin. True. Just one reminding the entire game I was like oh, <laughs> but, holy <laughs> damn he is great. <laughs> <Holy> <laughs> damn. <laughs> Um, I mean, we were just uh, looking at junglers and seeing who would be a good fit for our team, and it seemed like, uh, well, TSM really liked rookies at the time, so we, we decided Cent <laughs> we decided Centaurin would be a really great fit for our team, and we ended up going with them. But if you're from Europe and you look at NA back then, it's like TSM was just like the greatest, you know. Like, if if you get to play for TSM, that's like a huge opportunity, and. Anyone who gets that opportunity like should be grateful for every kind of that's because TSM was just like the dominant organization I guess and everyone looked up to them. We we had a house by the pier pretty much, and um, a house was good and bad memories for sure. Yeah. Well, for one, I got food poisoning at that house. I remember, and you know, I was like, puking all day in bed, not having a great time. Ate some bad sushi. That's about it. And I guess that's where Lucas moved into. <laughs> good, good transitioning. <laughs> um, just, I just remember we had a really, really good uh, spring split and then we started uh, playing pretty bad during summer. But uh, I think that spring split, we were dominating everyone for a pretty long time. So that was like definitely my fondest memory of that iteration of TSM. Oh, I remember spring. I don't want to talk about summer though. <laughs> but spring, I mean, we kind of destroyed everyone. We went to Kedavitsa, destroyed everyone, won the entire thing. Yeah. World yeah. champions, by the way. Um, <laughs> what are you going to make of that title? <laughs> but yeah, I mean... Yeah, we were definitely smurfing there somehow, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. And then my memory doesn't remember anything after that. Does it? <laughs> yeah, just black out. <laughs> black out till 2016, I don't know what happened. Uh, MSI happened. Why do you have to say that? What, did that must happen? You remember yeah, fucking, yeah. oh my god, uh, no, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I actually remember that pretty clearly now when you talk about yeah, it. Yeah, because yeah. it's really sad. We were doing good in scrims. Yeah, like we the first two on. days. Yeah, yeah, one. yeah. In scrims we were doing well, and then I think they realized we only have one play style. <laughs> and it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember now, yeah. I know, a long story show. The one play style, TSM back in the day. <laughs> Uh, I just felt like we weren't really together as a team for that world experience. Uh, I, I remember fondly that we were having a lot of team issues. Um, the other teams were just, just kind of smurfing on us. And the only time we would ever win is, was like just based off like individual skill. It would either be like uh, Bjergsen smurfing, like just himself. It would be like solo carrying games back then, I think, uh, rather than like winning as a team. And nowadays you have to really win as a team to get far. And I think FlyQuest as an organization this year has really shown it. Like I think we really came together as a team and we're definitely winning because our team is good, not because of the individual individual skill, which still matters. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely feel like the pressure got to me. Um, I had issues and I didn't feel like I actually got to work on them that well. Like I, it just felt like I wasn't improving that much and I just kind of knew like deep down that I was probably just going to suck at Worlds. So I, it's not like a fun memory of mine. And that's why like I'm really looking forward to have a redemption arc. Let's go back for revenge, baby. <laughs> <laughs> back for revenge. Back for revenge. <laughs> I played Mordekaiser one game. That was fun. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. I mean, that was stupid broken Mordekaiser, that was, right? That was a banger for <laughs> Yeah. I, I won my first Mordekaiser, my only Mordekaiser game. <laughs> it was pretty good. <clears throat> Wait, that's our only one too, right? Yeah, they're only one too. <laughs> <laughs> Mordekaiser. There you go. Just pick Mordekaiser. No, I just remember, I don't remember the games, but I just remember the team atmosphere was pretty terrible. I didn't feel like it was very productive. Like, it didn't feel like we we're trying to help each other improve. It just, I, I don't know, it just felt weird. Like, I don't know how to, like, 
put words to it, but it, it just. This time we're all older and better and faster. And mature, or whatever that is, mature. Something like that. <laughs> Uh, I remember that process. Uh, we, there was like no uh, standout jewelers for us at the time, and we didn't really have that many options because we were going into summer already, and there wasn't that many uh, jewelers to choose from. And I think Lucas was like the only standout candidate that we had, so we just decided like, hey, let's run it back and get <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> That's pretty much how it went down, and I'm really glad it played off. I think Lucas really uh, improved a lot the past two years. When I got the call from Flyquest, I was pretty stoked, but. As I've said previously, I, they had to try me out because always like after such a failure on H2K, it's like, is he actually good? Like, is, is there any reason to actually hire him? So no, I was stoked, but I remember that time was like pretty difficult for me. I was like debating whether I should like actually continue playing just because I, I didn't see myself getting on another team after that, you know, like getting kicked off the worst team in the EU. It's like definitely a hard thing to get over, I guess. Um, but I, I was really happy to like get to play with Jason again and uh, I feel like that is probably like the biggest turning point for like at least my career where it's like it's only been going up from here and I'm really happy to do it with Jason. I would definitely say it's kind of crazy and okay. I can relate it to like I think it's a sailor that does these like crazy things. If this didn't happen like they go through like their storylines and suddenly like you're back in the you're winning worlds or whatever like that kind of stuff and I feel like that's kind of like what happened to me at least where it's like I, I just went through like so many dis kind of disgusting teams, so like really bad teams where we're just getting really good over and over again. So like now being back with Jason and actually winning is a big difference for at least my career. I think for me looking at it, um, uh, yeah, for me looking at it, I was kind of joining FlyQuest with uh, not really the expectation to win right away. I, I think mostly for me, it was like a work in progress. We're gonna try to get the pieces we need. And I think this year is like the first time I was like confident in like all the pieces we have to finally succeed. And I'm just happy it just manifested and I couldn't be happier with the results we currently have.